Hello, people of the internet. I'm Nick from Water City Magic, and I know you guys are sick and tired of seeing deck profiles, but this is all I got. I have just moved into a new house. Uh, we literally, like, I got a mattress right behind me, and I got a bunch of stuff I got put away. But we're going to do that in the morning. For now, I'm just going to show you guys my new teched up Yosenju deck for the uh, August 2015. I guess July ban list, but it's August, so I'm going to call it August. Um, depending on how it does with locals and whatnot and online while I'm testing and maybe do some streaming if you guys want to see that. Um, I'm going to edit it up, but for right now, this is the version that I've got. The side deck is messed up. I'm going to explain that once we get to it, but for now, we're just going to write into the main deck. So, 3, comma 1, best one, in the, uh, best comma in the deck. He's the compulse on legs. He bounces Beals, he bounces Fiendish Chain, he bounces annoying stuff that you don't want to deal with. Uh, three copies of comma two. He's got 1800, but he can attack directly if foul damage is cut in half. So you can just like, he's been able to get through for game. He's like, he's like the four, the the fourth, uh, second, third, fourth cowboy. God, I can't speak today. I'm tired. Uh, three comma three. Um, whenever you send you deals damage that isn't comma three, you can add one to your hand. I uh, send you a card from deck to hand that isn't comma three, so you can go search the pendulum. You can go search out your Sujik, you can go search out your Counter Trap, which is awesome. Two Sujik, I was running three in the original boot, I build, I cut him down to two. He's perfect at two. Uh, he's searchable off comma, three off tanky, and sometimes you get him with duality, which is awesome. But uh, if he's on field, you can boost the you by a K, and if he's in your hand, you can use him as a hand trap. So what, I did this to a Mermaid opponent, they, uh, this is the Gore's token. So he had a Gore's token. Uh, he says, attack your comma, the comma 2 that was Fiend's Chain. And I said, Sujik, I'm a 28. And I won the game off that since he didn't have any board presence after that. So, it's hilarious. The last main deck you'll send you is 2 Sinju L. Uh, while he's in your Pendulum Zone, if you'll send you would be destroyed, you can put him in the extra deck instead. So it says, no Bottomless, no Torrential, um, Regeki, or I guess like Regeki or Dark Hole, if you have like the Pendulum version, which is shit. Don't play that. Bottomless, Torrential, Mirror Force, any of that stuff. And then if he's in the monster, if he's on the field of the monster, when he summoned, he goes to defense. And 21 defense is very hard for decks to get over with in the main. They have to go into their extra, which you can easily stop because of all your floodgates. And he can only be targeted. So, like, no fear. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, Fiendish Chain has to go to him. They can't depress you. Uh, Ragna Zero has to go to him, and since he's a rock, Tanky can't get him. So that's awesome. So yeah, I run him at two. You only need two. You couldn't run him and play just Floodgates, but I don't have Floodgates, so he's in there. Thunder King, because it's it's an anti-meta deck, you have to run Thunder King. And when you go Thunder King set four against 90% of the format, they just lose. And then the last monster in the deck is Commandant. I just want to, like, I know I'm not a rarity. I'm not a rarity whore, but, like, this is fucking sexy, dude. But anyway, I run two Necro Valley, so spoiler, and he's in there, and if I already have a Necro Valley in hand, then he's a 2100 beater that kills Denko, like, no sweat, and I hate Denko. That sums up for the monsters, I believe it's 15. That's a high amount since you want to run traps, but I don't have the good traps, so that's where it is. On to spells, I'm running three copies of Fire Formation Tanky. Uh, all of them are Beast Warriors, except for Sinju L, and you can, uh, get him off duality. Three duality, you never special summon, so... Well, you only special summon if you're cowboying, and if you're cowboy, if you're trying to cowboy this turn with duality, you're doing something wrong. But this is just more consistency. Um, I would take out the defige and the main deck dark hole, or not dark holes, uh, MSTs for upstarts, I just don't have them. But like I said earlier, I'm on two copies of Necro Valley, which, uh, I, these are also very shiny. These are the secrets. So that's cool. But this just this uh, this isn't my tech. People have come up with this before, but I just hate I just love the fact that this craps on so many decks. Um, I'm just gonna run through all the matchups where Necro Valley is good. So we'll begin with Necros. They can't banish their mirrors out of their graveyard. They can't Valkyrie you since they have to banish, and Necro Valley says no. They can't summon off of Cycle, and um. They can't do any shenanigans with, like, soul releases or any crap like that. So, that's awesome. Against, um, BA. 
<sighs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm like exhausted, but no Dante recycles, no special summoning off that one guy that comes out of the graveyard. So yeah, and they can't banish for dark arm if they're running dark arm. So and last but not least, we have Shadals. Uh, let's just pull those out real fast. Uh, there is no Shadal recycling from Linda and Construct dying, since you can easily kill them. Falco can't summon out of the graveyard, and um, they can't recycle. Like, they can't summon Emerald and put their fusions back in the deck, so that's awesome. They can't draw Avarice you either. But it craps on so much more stuff, I'll probably make a whole video of speaking on why Necro Valley's good. 2 MST, you hate Phoenix Chain to an Oblivion. 2 Dark Hole, um, I wish I had a Regeki. I'd probably do 2 Dark Hole and Regeki since I need mass board destruction. With your Sentries, you never have a field, so you're always fine running these board wipes. As you can just board wipe them, summon your field, and attack for game. Defish, this would get taken out with the MSTs for upstarts, but Defish still shits on the meta like Necro Valley does. My last spell is a one of Creature Swap. Um, basically, uh, Yosenju's, they bounce to your hand, like the, the 12 Yosenju's that bounce, they bounce to your hand no matter whose side of the field they're on. So you can summon four Yos you can summon out your three Yosenju's or four Yosenju's or whatever. You can use common one to bounce their guy, and then end phase, you keep their second monster, and end phase, the Yosenju that you uh, summon goes right back to your hand. So you can choose it again, and you got a free monster, so this is a plus one. I might take it out depending on testing, but right now it's fine. Uh, that's it for the spells. We're going to traps. MVP of the main is three secret move. Um, you hate Mar I hate Mirror Force. I guess like anyone playing Yosenju's, they don't want to see Mirror Force. They don't want to see Gores. They don't want to see hand traps. They don't want to see. They don't even want to see Warning because Warning just stops your plays immediately. So this is the best card in the deck. You know, it just stops everything. And it can stop, in the mirror match, this stops Tenki, this stops uh, Rageki, this stops a lot of crap that you don't want to see. Two copies of Mirror Force, this would be three, I just don't own three, I just don't have a third around somewhere, I can probably find one eventually, but... Again, Yosenjus, they always have to bounce back to your hand. So you'll never have a field, so this is just a one-sided board wipe, and I love it. <laughs> Now that's it for all our uh, multiples. <sighs> you love your one of, so that's why there's six of them. Warning is the best one in the deck. Uh, it just says no. Torrential is the second best one because I keep saying this. You'll send you bounce to your hand at end phase. So when your opponent goes wide trying to kill you, you just say torrential. And then depending on how many resources they gave up, they lose. Bottomless because I hate Cleave for it. I hate Necroz, and I hate everything else. Just sex anti meta the Max. I hate I hate meta, so that's why I beat them with it. Compulse. Uh, it's lost a lot of its value, but it, again, we're running four copies of compulsory evacuation device in our main deck, and this can bounce Phoenix Chain and uh, con, uh, continuous spells too that you uh, don't want to see. But it still is a really powerful effect. That if you just get rid of their one monster that they summon, like if you can, uh, let's just say like. Uh, their Denko effect is negated because they flip the skill drain. And you can compulse the Denko. You can just, you know, MST their skill drain, compulse their Denko, summon four Yosenjus, and go for game. This is relevant. Vanity's Emptiness, you never special summon, and the combo with Macro Cosmos is dirty. So, cards get banished. Let's do that. Yeah. With, uh, with Macro Cosmos, cards have to get banished. Ultra, like, that, that's awesome. I'm not ready for it, I'm just saying, like, a lot of my cards are shiny and I like it, but I always I always like running commons, too. Like, I should have bought the common macro, but this was, like, 40 cents, so I bought it. Uh, anyway, Vanity says a card needs to go to Grave, but Macro says cards can't go to Grave, so... As long as you have these two up and you can protect the macro from MST, Twister, any of that crap, then your opponent can't special summon, and you can just summon four Yosun use every turn and go super dirty nuts. And... That's it for my main. Uh, like I said, upstarts lose one turns. Fiendish chains if you have them. Uh, four token to begin our extra. I only have a six card extra at the moment, so I'm working on it. These are just a bunch of random fusions. Like 
this is just a bunch of random fusions that I threw in to the extra to confuse my opponent. Like, I would have, um... What did I have? I had Parasycroid to face up in my extra deck, so it's like, oh, they're playing uh, Roids or Cyber Dragons. And then I saw in common one, I'm like, what the hell is this? So I just do that to confuse my opponent. But the actual extra is Gaga or Cowboy. I'd probably run two or three of these in the extra just because you can easily summon four Yale Sentries, attack with them, double Cowboy them, and your opponent's dead. Uh, I've done it on turn two, and it's hilarious. Dweller, the third Necro Valley, and this just no BA, no hero, no Necros, none of that crap. Samurai, because you can target itself or Cowboy. And it allows for some dirty plays. Tiger King. Uh, probably run a second one of my extra. Skill Drain for non-Beast Warriors. Goes gets Tenki out of the deck and can make a rank 4 immediately. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, guys. Pappy Operative. For bitches who want to put their stuff face down. Then Ragna Zero. Because... It's Ragna Zero. Every deck, almost every deck, can change their attack and defense points, so you can just blow them out of the water. And then, ex uh, you want Rhapsody, Cowboy, Castell, Exiton. I'll make a whole video probably later on what cards you want for your extra deck. But anyway, that's it for our extra. It's only six. Like the only one you ever go to is Cowboy, and sometimes you make Ragna Zero. But really, the extra deck's just there to be there. Like, you don't really need it, but you do need two or three Cowboys in your extra, just because they help and win games that you sh that you have no business winning whatsoever. So you absolutely 100% need the Cowboys, and I'm sorry, I'm fiddling around, but... <sighs> On to the side deck, one Fossil Dyna. I might move this to two and put it in the main, but this is Vanity's Emptiness on Legs. The problem is he's a puny motherfucker, which is why I hate him, because all my bitches in the main can protect themselves. And, you know, I have at least decent-sized bodies, but he's wimpy. So, I might just take him out entirely, but for one, I, for now, I have one in my side. Uh, two copies of Knock. Should all hate. Battery Man hate. You hit their micro cell, they can't play. This is mostly for dolls, though. Uh, two copies of Soul Release. This is my tech in my side. This is for uh, your, Necro, your Necro's matchup your Infernoid matchup, um, possibly Heroes, depending on uh, what version they have. If they're running Blaze Man, you don't want to run Soul Release, because they're just going to recycle. If they don't have um, Blaze Man and they only run like 9, 10 Heroes, you can usually side this thing, get their mass changes out of their grave, and just go nuts. But yeah, this this hates on Inferno. It's like, your best matchups are like Infernoid, Hero, BA, Neck... Uh, sometimes you lose to Necros, but that's just the uh, nature of the game. Like, my only loss last time I went to Locals was Necros, and that's because I misplayed like an idiot. Two Dress. I want this to be two Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, but I don't have them, so. Those are Shadow Imprisoning Mirrors. The third MST, because you hate Cleave for it like a bitch. Two Springer Rebirth. This is my tech. Uh, this is for the OTK decks of the format. Heroes and uh, Battery Man, mostly. Also coming in some Rogue decks like Lightsworn. I'll take this out for uh, a Light Mirror and uh, a second Fossil Dino, probably. Uh, light, light Imprisoning, I only have one at the moment. I want to put it up to two because it's just so good. It hates on Satellanites and all good light decks. Two Iron Wall, this is Ritual Beast Hate. Like, every time you side these in, you take out your Necro Valleys because Necro Valleys defeat the purpose of this. And you want to beat Ritual Beast since they're probably your worst matchup. And then two Curse Seal, the Forbidden Spell. Uh, this is my tech. Discard a spell, your opponent. Negate the activation of a spell, trap, and destroy it, and your opponent can't use it for the rest of the game. So against Necros, you hit Kaleidoscope or Cycle, they just basically can't play. Heroes, you hit Mass Change, basically can't play unless they're running Form Change, in that case they're bad, but at the very least they have outs. Um, against the Mirror Match, hit Tanky, you get some Surge Stopping. And against um, Yang Zing, uh, you can use, um, you can hit Path, I'm sorry, I'm like drawing blanks today. Uh, you can use this on path, and they can't recycle their yang things anymore to uh, to hurt you. Anyway, guys, that was my current version of Yes Engines for the August 2015 format. Uh, let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. I'm Nick from Motor City Magic. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.